one city you may find three to five banks now every area every road you can find one small bank that is called as expansion and development portfolio means you will go two stocks which are risk free two stocks more risk but returns also more depends on that you have to decide your whole syllabus is based on these four only. the first one financial institution financial asset financial services financial market A warm welcome to one and all. This is your other sir, lecturing with the Ashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence. We are discussing topic called financial market and services. In that, the session one as well as unit one. The first topic is called as overview of financial system. We all talk about what is a financial system, the overall picture, the overall introduction part, a basic part about financial system we will discuss. What is financial system? Now, the financial system is a set of institutions such as bank, insurance, stock exchange that permit exchange of fund. Financial system exists on firm regional and global levels now it is very simple what is financial system is the easiest topic or easiest way to understand what is financial system every day we go to banks we do online payments we go to any companies we exchange our funds we go to any finance sector if you want money you'll go to bank you'll go to any financial sectors a private sector you borrow loan from them all this called as financial services exchange of currency exchange of money exchange of value we call it as financial services now example for financial services it may be bank it may be insurance companies any stock exchange stock exchange what we do we'll buy and sell goods we'll buy and sell stocks so buying and selling of stock buying and selling of securities that is also one of the part of financial services you buy at lesser price if you're lucky enough you'll sell it at higher price the difference we call it as your profit now so once you're done with this your borrowers lenders and investors exchange current fund to finance project either for consumption or productive investment usually if you have money what will do you will invest in any deposit any bonds or you will invest in construction of any properties or you will invest in stock market mutual fund recently the trending one is sip small investment plan or systematic investment plan these are the areas usually we spend our money as a savings Usually the earlier, the old age people, not old age people, just we go to 20 to 30 years earlier, the people, they were trusting only bank, they were investing in bank. The rate of return will be very less when you compare with the stock market and your bank. But the return is more, the risk also more in the stock market. Similarly, whatever you have invested in the bank, if you go and get after 10 years, the amount will be more than whatever you are invested. But in the stock market, there are chances are there. It may be multiple times or else it will be zero also. Depends on your luck. Depends on the market condition. Your returns will be decided in the mutual fund, stock and other cases. In the bank, there is a fixed percentage you will get. But returns will be less and risk will be higher. So, what are the major functions of financial system? Now, to connect to the investor with the savers, like for example, yourself you are connecting with whom? Bank. Yourself you are connecting with any finance sector. If you go to any stock market, in the stock market you cannot go directly to company and buy shares. Through the agent only you are connected. These are called as the first function of financial system. Second one assistance in selection of project which is a better one they will give you the analysis of last 10 years last five years all the analysis will be given what is the projects are there it is given what is the future plans what is the budgetary are there everything is mentioned in that so that it will assist you which is a better project risk allocation 
your risk will be allocated if you have your financial system or financial services. They will allocate your risk. There is a portfolio manager. What is the job of portfolio manager? He will decide what is the risk of your finance. What is the risk you're supposed to spend? Now, availability of information. If you want to buy any shares, any stock, RS, if you want to deposit in bank, if you go to bank, if you ask to the manager or any officer, they will give you all the information. What is your deposit? What rate of interest you will get? What you will get after eight years, after 10 years, after 15 years, all the documentation part, everything they will educate. Reducing the cases of asymmetric information. So there is a false information, wrong information, misleading. These kind of things will not happen if you have a proper financial system. Reduction in the borrowing and transaction cost. So if you go with the genuine uh, financial system, the borrowing cost, your uh, processing cost, always it comes down less only. So you compare with your nationalized bank or any government related bank or you go with any private institution. When you borrow money in the government institution or the banks which are like corporation bank, union bank or some other kind of bank, if you go to these kind of nationalized banks, your usually your cost of borrowing loan will be very less compared to the private institutions. Now, liquidity promotion, there will be promotion for your cash liquidity. Financial broadening and deepening. So financial broadening and deepening, it is nothing but you can dig all the information, whatever you want and your financial broadening means whatever your mindset, earlier the investment was very less. Now the investment, everybody start investing. Uh, earlier, the 90% of the people, they were in government jobs. In the government jobs, what happens? They will get retirement benefit. They will get pension. All the benefits will be given once they are exited from the job. But nowadays, 90% people they are in private institution. There is no job security. There is no life security after their retirement. There is a reason that people started investing in the pension plans, insurance plans. These are the investment plan. It is broadening as well as deepening. So whatever the functions of financial system we learned and now we are going to your features of financial system. Following are the features or characteristics of financial First one, financial system establish a link between the one having surplus fund with those one who are in need of such fund. It is very simple. Bank having surplus fund, we people, we need money. What we'll do? We'll go to bank, we'll apply for loan. There is a connection between what? One who is having surplus, one who are in a need, they will connect. Second. Financial system contribute towards the expansion and the development of financial market. It will expand. Earlier, the banks were very less. All over the one city, you may find three to five banks. Now, every area, every road, you can find one small bank. That is called as expansion and development. Financial system facilitate the efficient allocation of financial resources for the benefit of the society and public at large. Your financial system, when you need of money, these people will help you. When you want to sell anything, these people will help you. So all the financial system are helping us. Again, once we're done with your functions, the features, we have three points. Again, we have another two to three points in this. Now, financial system boosts the economic quality and accelerate the economic development. So as early as possible, as faster as possible, it elaborate, it extend the services. Financial system lays the foundation for an ideal economy. Financial system build an efficient portfolio. You know what is portfolio? For example, you have four to five stocks are there in your application or your stock market, uh, this thing. In that, there is a total of four shares. Two shares will be in the profit, two shares will be in the loss. The overall we consider is as portfolio. Portfolio means you will go two stocks which are risk-free, two stocks 
more risk, but returns also more. Depends on that you have to decide. Now, financial system reduces the transaction cost. Financial system ensures availability of all the price related information. These are called as features of financial system. What are the importance of financial system? You learn what are the functions, what are the features and what are the importance. Now, increment in the output and production of the economy, accelerating the quantum and pace, facilitate innovation. Innovation means what? New things, creativity. Evaluation of asset, increasing the liquidity production and spreading of information, it spread information. Provide risk management service. If you are in risk, it will give you services so that it will save you from risk by advisors. Then, to ensure stability and resilience, then introduction of discipline in management companies and guiding them. It will guide you for the betterment. Accelerating the rate of economic growth. So these are the major importance of your financial system. Your features and importance almost it is similar only. Components and constituents of Indian financial system. Your major four components, your whole syllabus is based on these four only. The first one, financial institution, financial asset, financial services, financial market. Individually, we will learn in detail while doing your next topics. Your financial institution, I'll don't go in brief, in depth for this topic. Why? Because we have a separate unit for your financial institution, financial asset, financial service, and your financial market, nothing but stock market. Now, what are the financial institutions? Financial institutions are called as banking institutions non-banking institutions are non-depository. These are called as your financial institutions. Next, the regulators, intermediaries, non-intermediary. These are the people comes under your financial institution. Intermediary, all the commercial banks. Non-intermediary institution that provide financial aid to the corporate customers. It is include NABAR. R S I B D I. These are the things comes under your non-intermediary. Hope you are clear. Yes. Financial asset. Which are the financial asset? Your call money is called as financial asset. What do you mean by call money? Call money usually we take loan for a shorter period, less than 14 days, less than 15 days. If you borrow money from bank or some financial institution for shorter period, we call it as there is call money. Similarly, there is a notice money. The notice will be given for the payment. Then we have a term money, treasury bills. It is the safest way of investment. Always remember what is the safest and risk-free investment means. Always keep it in mind. Treasury bills are risk-free. Then certificate of deposits, commercial papers. These are the your financial Asset. What are the examples for financial asset? Remember, call money, notice money, term money, number of days will be mentioned. Treasury bill, as I told you, it is the safest way of investment. Certificate of deposit, commercial papers. Now we'll go with the third topic. Those are financial services. Under financial services in India, banking services, insurance services, investment services, foreign exchange services, transfer of your currency from one country to another country. Your insurance, as you know very well, you will get insured for your asset as well as for your life. Banking services, all the transaction, borrowing loan, deposit, any check transaction, are transferring money from one person to another person. All the financial things can happen in banking services. The last one, financial market. Under financial market, we'll find security market, government security market, long-term loan market. There are three things are there, corporate security, government security, and long-term security. All these comes under capital market. Under capital market, we have one, two, 
three categories corporate government long term then come to money market in money market mostly dominated by government banks money market always dominated by government banks and other large institutions these people only already dominated your money market so still we have organized money market unorganized money market foreign exchange market credit market what you are supposed to do is just you have to read all this but points you are supposed to remember now i'll go back to all the your previous screen i'll tell you which are the important one you are supposed to learn in this topic we learned simple one hardly it takes one hour or one to two hours to complete this topic now what is a financial system meaning you are supposed to learn functions features importance components four things you are supposed to learn yeah first one is what what is financial services or what is a financial market what is finance then you have to go with the features you have to go with the functions and what is a financial system first question second one functions of financial system features importance components that's it financial system features functions components importance in the components remember you have financial services financial market all these things see financial services financial asset financial institutions financial institutions financial asset these are the topic you are supposed to remember for this particular unit i'll go back to all the previous slides if you want screenshot you can take what is financial system functions features importance components this is all about your today's session in today's session you learned your unit number 1 this much more than sufficient for your examination please keep repeatedly reading this particular topic so mainly you have to remember the points below the points if you have the general knowledge or if you have a basic information you can write that thank you